Special shout out to all my amazing members and patrons for going above and beyond and supporting the channel. They are Sam Medina, Matthew All, Lucky Charms, Rick Hemingway, Charlene Kelly, I Am Beast, Madlow, Yumi, Killer Button 264, Justin Rice, MD640, Petri, Kono76, Ozzy Pozzy, Balalco, Jelly Beams, UK's Reaper, Craven, Zareel, Fierce, Shamsy, Nathan the Autogasms, Unakin, and Amy. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Hey everyone, and welcome back to End the Mod. So we finally have ourselves a motorcycle, so we're going to be able to get around faster. And I think that's going to be even better than us using like a Mega Crush and stuff. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go for these quests, even though it's nighttime. Although, technically, we first have to do a little bit of base work over here, and by the time nighttime is finished, yeah, we're going to be able to uh, go out and do quests in the safety of our daylight. Those of you don't know, during nighttime, these fired up zombie bosses, they're actually on fire, show up. And yeah, we want to make sure we don't run into them as as much as we can. We don't want to run into them. Let's do this. Now the problem is we have to go and see. See, some of these blocks are seriously damaged. Damn. Uh, we do have concrete mix on us, but I want to use that only when we are upgrading or repairing some uh, some concrete over here. Although technically, I should, because of this whole staircase is going to be... No, but wait, 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 wait. I said that I want to change this. So I can shoot the zombies in their back. So basically, this is also going to be part of the horde base. They're going to run up over here. They're going to be able to turn there and run zigzag. And while they're running zigzag, we'll be able to shoot them in their back. They're going to turn over there. So technically, we don't have to re repair all of this. I can actually go and use some TNT over here and break all of this out. All of this over here needs to go. Can we make dynamite? I don't think so. Dynamite. No, it's still locked. Explosives level 12, and we have explosives on 10. So we need two more explosive books. Let's just see if the trader has them. And then that way we can actually just tweak our hold base. I want to make sure the zombies are running in such a way we can actually take advantage of them. Everything's for sale. Yeah, everything's for sale. Idiot like you. Tools digest. Explosives. Yes. Oh, only one. All right. Now that we're done doing business, get out of my store. Okay, we need one more explosives, and then we can actually go and tweak this. On the other hand, look, we could go and do the thing I, I just mentioned. Because it's also going to be easier shooting them. When they go, come up here and you just shoot them in the back, it's easier to shoot them. They're closer. When the zombies are all over here, and they're jumping up and they stand over there, they're, too, so, they're so far away, it's really difficult to see them. So getting headshots and stuff and not wasting ammo, that really, really is difficult. So what I need to do is I need to remove this over here. It's going to be more or less those two blocks over there. That's where the stairs are going to connect. We could actually make it even three wide and then just turn that one around. Put, take that away. And only over here where they actually make it over, that's where we put this thing. So we're going to move that away. And take the, um, the junk stage away as well. I think all we have to do is destroy that one cobble block over there. And it should drop that, uh, that concrete over there. And then we have to destroy those four concrete blocks over there. That's going to be quite a bit of work as well, unfortunately. This over here... Please don't bump your head. Technically, I need to make this concrete as we go. And also, I don't really need to change anything over here. This counts as a full block. So technically, all I need to do is uh, connect the uh, walkway over here. So we're going to do this. We could just take out this, uh, the three blocks on top and then just change them into full blocks. But the zombies should still pass over here. I'm just afraid they're going to get stuck over here or something. I want them to turn and then uh, as they're running, we're going to be able to shoot them in the back. So... When we stand over here, this is not going to be here, and this is not going to be here. We'll be able to, as they go up the stairs, just shoot in the back. Only problem with this defense at the moment is this. I wonder if I shouldn't just drop this whole thing. I, I think it might actually just be better now I did that. I'm going to have to remove that one cobble block, and then I'm going to have to break this over here so this actually falls. The thing is, um, what I want to try and do is have them run in a straight line. So if they have to zigzag, it defeats the whole purpose of being able to shoot over here just in their backs. I'm going to have to see how this is going to work. Basically, the uh, the way it's going to be connected over here is more uh, less going to be over here. But I need to be careful not to get too close to my base because then the cop vomit and stuff might start fires. So, how long is this going to take me? Um, I think we actually have some mods over here that we can use. See, this one only has these mods on. So if I go and put these on there, it's already doing a little bit more damage. I need to see if we can't invest a little bit more in our minus 69er as well, but unfortunately we don't have too many skill points to spend. I need to go into minus 69 over here to be able to do more block damage. And also not waste as much stamina by destroying these blocks. Okay, this stamina is going to be a usage. Oh, why don't you fall all the way? I'm going to have to go and destroy that side as well. Ooh, 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 what I could do to save myself a lot of digging, because that's concrete all the way over there. 
Yeah, we can make them turn over there and go straight. So what I can do is make a hole over here. We're just going to make ourselves a little bit of an overhang or outhang or whatever it's over here. A little bit of a lip that we can stand on. We're going to do this. Boom. Uh, we're going to go and make ourselves a proper place to stand. Like so. And we're going to be shoot uh, shooting over here in a straight line. So instead of breaking the rest of that, we can leave that in. But just, uh, just connect that to this over here. I need to see that if I have a full block over there and a, uh, and a ramp block, whether that's going to actually mess with it or not. So now we do this. Come on, don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Thank you. We just make ourselves a little bit of a roof over here. Like so. And since we're going to be shooting over there, we can just fill this up like so. Okay. Now all we have to do, we can literally just close this down, or we can just put a bar or whatever over here. We can put a hatch over here, but technically, uh, this doesn't need to be anything, we, uh, because we're just going to be shooting through here. So the, since the zombies can't reach, we can do this. I'm hoping when I throw a Molotov, I don't accidentally hit that. But we'll be able to shoot in a straight line, so the stairs will be a little bit closer. Um, Yeah, we shouldn't touch that one at all right now. We're going to make the, another pillar over here right across from this one, and we're going to make it a little bit closer as, as well, so they can have a little bit more of a space to run. But what we could also then go and do is put some barbed wire to slow them down. That way we'll have time to actually shoot them in the back. Just gonna do this. Okay, it's max weight at, uh, at the moment already. Yep, yep, yep. Please don't break your leg right now. Okay, so that's carrying the max amount of weight, which means I have to first go and fix this side over here. Copy shape, copy rotation. We're definitely gonna need way more blocks to be able to do this as well. So it needs to line up with this. Let me more or less over there. We can go one block. It mustn't be too close because then the zombies will actually try and go for us instead of use the walkway. Especially the bigger zombies. If there's actually like something touching over here, uh, they might actually just try and stand. Some of them will actually just turn around over here and try and hit me. But most of them will path around. I'm going to make it a super easy pathway so they can actually definitely make it to me. And then from over there to over here, we have to connect that. I'm hoping this doesn't get destroyed soon. Now the real question is, will the zombies walk over this bit of the yard? Since this is a ram block, I, otherwise I'm going to have to replace the ram block, but I'm hoping they path over here, and then jump over. And the unfortunate thing is now these are the wrong rotation. So I should probably just turn them around. As you guys know, when you use these, you want to make sure that they are not, the green side is not showing to the zombies. Because since the zombies are coming from that side now, that is going to be wrong. That's going to be right. You want to make sure this green side is away from the zombies. The zombies are coming from that side, so they mustn't run into the green, they must run next to the block. If they run into the green, just a reminder for those of you new to the game, if I, if I am a zombie and I come over here from this side in the green, I'm stuck. I'm going to do more damage to this block. But if I'm coming from this side, that's another block on its own. I'm not stuck at all, so I have to jump. Even if I do hit this thing, I do less damage. Like I said, though, I should actually go and check in the coding if they change that or not. It used to be like that, but it might not be like that anymore. Let me do this. See, over here, they're going to be able to fall down and perhaps join the staircase over there again. And then they're just gonna, literally going to make a turn, they're going to run to that side, and they're going to be over there. Over there, I wonder if I should make like a proper AFK, like a little bit of a cheesy kind of base where they definitely don't make it to there. So I can just focus on over here, where they fall down, go again, fall down, go again. Like a never-ending circle of hell for them. Um, over here, we can actually make it three blocks wide, which means the rest is definitely going to have to be blown up. So all of this over here is going to have to be disconnected and dropped. So what we could do is just go and break it with this, all the way to the bottom. And then break out the bottom and the rest will fall. But that's still a lot that needs to fall. So I'm going to have to make myself some TNT planted over there. And just to have all of this blown to smithereens. The only problem is the debris will fall all over. And piles like that over there will form all over the place of here. So technically if you do that you need to put the TNT inside a shape. That's going to help a little bit more. Okay so if we do this. How wide should I make the stairs? If I make it, uh, I, I don't want to make it too wide, but at the same time, if I don't make it wide enough, it's going to be a problem. Let's see, reach that. Okay, this must not be part of the stairs, as per usual. If you make that part of the stairs, the zombies will go and break this, and then the staircase is broken. Over here, if this is part of the stairs, if they break this, there'll still be a block at the back that they can jump up on. So it's just to make sure that they don't go and uh, do some unwanted damage. I messed up just now. Yeah, I messed up. That needs to go. 
Although, that's the only block holding... No, there's a block underneath. Um, yeah, we have to make sure that's nice and uh, just staircase <laughs> I'm actually thinking of making it three wide. And then in the middle block, putting a staircase. But also on this side, putting a ladder. So that if they fall down, they can actually just climb up the ladder over here again. Because they're going to jump over here. They're going to go over here, and they're going to fall down. So then they need to actually have a ladder they can path up again. Is that a friendly NPC, or is that the enemy? There's a Harley Quinn walking around, and the unfortunate thing is she does have shotguns, she has everything. Melee, shotguns, sniper rifles, hunting rifles. So if you're not careful, she can really mess with you. We need so much more resources. So, oh, so much more resources. Okay, so for now we just do this. And then how many shots is it going to take you? I mean, nice, one shot. Probably just do a little bit of cleaning over here, because this is going to get messy later. I think while I'm busy over here, I can just well go for the iron too. I should be careful if that is a Harley Quinn. I mustn't run out of stamina right now. See, all of these over here give you 15 iron per shot. And we can even go for these over here, but I think most of this is wood. Uh, it's going to take too long. My stamina is way too low, so every time I swing with this pick, I think it's also because it's a vibranium pick, it uses more stamina. I need... Ooh, 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 can we make that? Ergonomic. Ergonomic. Oh, it's also locked. We need the ergonomic grip so we can put it on the pick. That way we'll be able to break all of that apart. I basically do like six shots and then I have to wait for my stamina to regen. I want to go check out if that's a friendly or if that's an enemy. Although we have to be careful not to get too close at the same time. Okay, so first things first. Let's see if we can make some concrete mix. 300. We're running out of cement. Okay, with the rest of that, I'm going to actually go make some cobble. Like so, and then the rest of this we can just put away for now. The actual cobble that we do have, we can make into cobble blocks. Cobble blocks, there you go. And the rest of this we're just going to put away for now. The concrete I'm keeping on me because I know there is going to be a repair or two to be done to the actual walkway. Uh, but at least I don't think there's that much damage to the walkway itself anyway, so we don't have to worry too much. It's going to go over here, that's my lockpick. I need to sort this out again as well. Do that. Okay, so this is for when I set myself alight. Technically, I should keep that on me over here. Remember, if you drink this, you get sick. But if you put out your fire by drinking it, you don't. You shouldn't get sick. Sometimes you do if you're unlucky. It's not supposed to work that way, though. Let's do this. Okay, healing, healing, healing. Repairs. I'm going to put that over there as well. Put that there, put that there. And then voila. Okay, so it's 12, 13. That we have to lock. I don't want to lock too much because that's also going to make sure that we can't loot too much. I am looking for some triple storage pocket mods and stuff. Oh, that is an enemy. It's a hunting rifle. Okay, so I outsnipered a sniper. Remember that there was another one. She, the way she moved looked like another. Ooh. It's a male zombie, okay? The way that zombie just now moved, I thought it might be another Harley Quinn. So it's a good thing I didn't go check, because look at the damage they can do with a gun. I would have run all the way there, and then I, I'd be in like, oh no, what am I going to do now? Okay, so we need more explosives. Oh, come on. You have to aim so nicely. If you just do that, it's not in the box. You have to go right in the middle when you drop it. Otherwise, you accidentally drop stuff at your feet. You have to make sure you don't drop without even realizing it. Because that's just going to suck if you lose all your stuff. Okay, so what I'm going to do, we're going to go do that tier 4 over there. What level am I right now? Level 42. If I just go into spears and like pistols, do we have any points into the, like the machine gun? Nothing. See, that's not really good. I, I should probably see if I can't go for this over here, parkour and that. But mostly just go for better barter. No, wait. I think I went only perception. Yeah, most of my points are on perception anyways. I wanted to do this anyways. The spear I have to max out. But with a, a few points that we can save, for example, I'm going to take this out of here for now. Um, and then also the points out of there. Then that way we can just put it all into the spear over here. Max, make, make sure the spear is maxed out. And then we can start focusing on other stuff as well. So what I'm going to do is respec my points. I like that reset sound. <laughs> it sounds really cool. Okay, so now we're going to go for perception again. Spear Master, but we need Perception level 10. Spear Master, we're going to max out. The attack speed are going to max out as well. 
Uh, we're going to put one into penetrator so our ammo can go through zombies. We're going to max out these. And I wonder if I shouldn't max out salvage operations as well. But at the same time, we do need at least one point into cooking. Otherwise, that's going to take forever. But I think that's under strength. We go for Master Chef. Um, yeah, if I max this out, we'll be able to go and uh, cook food 60% faster. But that's strength level 4. We can go for one pack meal or at least mother load and mother... Yeah, that over there. Better barter, daring adventure. I think next up we should focus on daring adventure. So we have everything else. Lock picking, I have to put a point into. The rest we're going to go over here. Put one more into lock picking so it's easier. And then into daring adventure. So now we have to focus on this. If we can get double rewards from the trader, that's really, really, really going to help us. But at least now we have our spear maxed out, so we'll be able to do even more bonus damage. That was my first goal. Now we can go do some tier fours. I also want to test out how fast this vehicle is. More or less, I have an idea of how fast I can run. So I want to see if this motorcycle is truly faster than me or not. And then I have to see if I can't go for the other fuel that oil rig place because we need fuel right now. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do this. With all the blocks that are crafting, I will be able to do the stairs over here. Also, the way I design it is going to have to really... I'm going to have to really pay attention because I want the staircase to be above over here. It's, it's okay. It's not super fast, but it is definitely better than me running. If I run away stamina, if I do this, I don't have to worry about stamina. I can use my stamina when fighting. Can I make it through over here? Don't know. Do not know. That's a little bit of a lot of frame drop right now. What the hell's going on? Ooh, skater park. That's cool. Okay, so I am going to have to put a point or two. Oh, I didn't, I didn't put anything in parkour. I need to make sure I put a point or two in parkour so we don't break our leg or sprain our leg too often. Feral, feral, feral. Yep, hello. As long as I do headshots, we should be able to kill zombies super, super fast now as well. Can we close that door? Yes. Although I think that door is so busted, the zombies will be able to get through anyways. And now I took the points out of my... Oh, we're going to need ergonomic grips as soon as possible. I took all the points out of my salvage operations now as well. Although I think there was anyways just one point in there, but still. I still have to focus or uh, work on my um, filters for my for my recordings, guys. At the moment, my voice is sometimes so loud that it actually gets clipped off. Uh, to make sure that it doesn't peak too much and hurt your ears. But because of that, sometimes the sound is too low, so I have to boost it in the editing process. I want to get the, the relationship between the two audios so perfect that I don't have to worry at all about the other stuff. About tweaking anything with the editing. I can just focus on editing out the parts that are boring and stuff. And then move from there. Fetch is downstairs. Oh, it's on that side. Locked. Let me just see the frame rate over here. Because it feels like it's really dropping. If I go over here. Options. Video. Let's go for qualities. Reflective shadows I have off. Reflection quality medium. Shadow distance medium. I can put shadow distance on low. The l less shadows there are the more of a performance boost you'll get. All of this stuff is off, 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 but this is all high. I don't want to go back to all the low settings because I want to make sure that we can actually have some really cool, great quality uh, episodes. But the frame rate still has like 46, and that's really, really bad. Oh, you just scared the crap out of me. Don't you dare bust the vehicle. I think even these vehicles, even though if I can't loot them, they can explode. Oh, speaking of, if a vehicle is lootable, we have to wrench it. These ones that are not uh, lootable, you only get these parts from them. You get iron, you get uh, springs, short pipes, and mechanical parts. But on the other ones that you can actually loot, you get fuel. Ooh, moon rocks a baton. Looks like this place next door might also have some really good stuff. There's even a cop downstairs. See, we need the fuel, so I can't not range this. There's also a zombie that I heard, but it doesn't seem like the zombie's close by to us. And done. Why is it stuttering so much? Damn. Usually this stutter only happens in like huge mods. Um, in A21... The game is actually way smoother than usual. But yeah, this is nothing smooth over here. It's stuttering like crazy. I don't know if there's too many zombies spawning in uh, because it's in the middle of the city or something. 
but something's seriously wrong at the moment. I mean, this mod itself is actually very super smooth compared to like other mods. I was actually really impressed. The first time I tried this mod, I was impressed with how smooth everything flows in the game. Uh, but yet at the moment, there's a little bit of stutter and I don't know how to fix it, unfortunately. It could go down, we could go up. I think upstairs. Yep, sometimes there's loot up here. Like good loot, bad loot. Depends on your luck. And we just woke up a vulture. Okay, technique I could help out this side. Where are you guys? Downstairs. It seems like the upstairs or downstairs. I, I, I'm gonna have to go for them like so. Um. Hello. Oh, that thing has reach. That chicken was able to hit me from far. I know it's a vulture. Just it's uh, easier to say a burnt chicken <laughs> or turkey dinner. It's locked. Sometimes there's loot on the roof as well, so it's worth kicking. Nope. Okay. So we were that side. We were this side. Let's just go. I can't remember when last I actually looted this place like in order like this. I started on one side, finished on the next. So we can go down there. I'm, I'll rather face the proper pathway of this. Okay, now if we go down here. Wait, but are we supposed to go down there? I'm not sure at the moment. I know we can go down here. But just then jump down. Seems like it. It's super dark at the moment as well, so I need to be careful. Ooh, I wonder how much stone we can actually get from this. It's easy enough- yeah, look at that. It's easy enough to break these piles, so it's a really good source of um, some stone. If you're looking for stone, just look for these piles. Look at that, we already have 180 more stone just from going for these few piles over here. That is, in my opinion, super worth it. Also, I should probably stealth a bit more, but I'm in a little bit of a rush. Instead of going uh, run and gun, we go run and melee. <laughs> we could easily, from a distance, just snipe them with our bow and arrow. Our compound bow is actually really, really good. Dead, 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 dead. Oh, the fetch is... Oh, no, no, no. I don't want to get stuck down there. The fetch is underneath us, so we're going to have to go one layer lower. Get that. I don't think we were supposed to cross or go through over here, but I mean, why not? Be here already. Go down, go down, go down. Be careful of Feral Jean. Oh, I'm on the wrong side. I'm on the wrong side. Okay, I think we're supposed to go in the middle of here and then jump through, right? No, even that's wrong. I'm so con- oh, it's over here. I was about to say, I'm so confused. I don't know where to go. Okay, we're finally on this side, so that's good. Now open this up. Yep. Oh, poor you. That looks nasty. I want to make sure we grab all of these fire extinguishers, but we don't really need this many. Ooh, ATM. That's outside, you can come into me. See, all we have to uh, do is wait for them to make a small hole, then we can hit through the doors. It's one of the best H21 features, the fact that you can actually hit zombies through doors. Oh, and since we have lockpicks on level 2... Wait, did he just break in? Is he bleeding? No. In Darkest Falls, I think that actually creates like a, uh, an actual bleed effect. Watch out for the dogs. Go for this dude. And for these dudes. It's actually really cool if you sometimes can hit them in the uh, in the sky. I aim for that. 
It feels cool. It's almost like the Matrix. As they're flying in the air, you just do that final shot. And then the last nail in the coffin. Okay, I need to be careful. Yeah. These over here are just one click. Left click. The bigger ones I can power attack because that takes a while. But these smaller piles, I keep power attacking that for no reason. They're small enough for just the left click so you save some stamina. Are you feral? She's showing off her leg. Look at that. Presenting her bloodied leg. Okay, now the problem is going to be... Zombies coming from all directions. Uh, let's try and hide over here. Hit the red dots. Okay. You want to more or less try and see where the red dots are. I mean, that's not feral. Cool, 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 cool. Pay attention to where the red uh, dots are as soon as you start fighting a zombie. That way you don't have to get surprised. Another zombie awake. This is a tier 4, so the fact that the zombies are so slow bothers me. I mean, it's not a tier 4 infested or anything, but still. Okay, let me go over here. That's still locked. I'm guessing we're gonna have to press a button and it's gonna open the front door over here for us anyways. Now, though... You're very, very quiet. Ooh, safe. I'm actually hoping that the lockpicks work better now. I mean, we have two points in the lockpicking. There should be no possible way for it to fail 15 times in a row again. Although with all luck, you never know. It's also one of those nighttime quests because you have to start this generator up at nighttime. Okay, now this is going to get dangerous. I know this pure eye well. As soon as we jump in over here, there's going to be zombies from all over. Yep, that's a lot of zombies. If I can just see where they are, I can do some... So now they're going to turn into burn zombies. Because there's fire all over. Oh, that dude's spreading the fire! Okay, watch out, no more ferals. Oh wow, as soon as these guys turn into burn zombies... Okay, so as soon as they turn into actual burn zombies... Oh, there's a snake outside. Um, I was about to say, yeah. The, the, the dude turned into a burned zombie, but it doesn't count as part of a clear quest. Because you technically already killed that zombie. So the burned zombie is a new zombie. Just now, for example, there was still a dude left that burned to death. And it said, oops, sorry, quest done. Okay, so I actually got really close to dying just now. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. I want to take this off. For now, at least. Put that over there and do this. That way, if I really need to heal, I can heal. I don't have to worry about opening up my, um, my inventory. Every now and then, I want I need to open up my inventory, but I can't afford to. You know, zombies made it inside of here while we're not looking. Okay, so final thing we have to do is just break into this. Okay, that should heal me all the way as well, as long as I don't take any more damage right now. Come on, come on, come on, give me some good loot. My Lucky Doodle is maxed out as well, so that should provide us with some really good loot. I just need one more explosive. Yes, triple storage pocket. I need one more explosive. So we can, uh... Wait, no, wait, 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 wait. Didn't we just got a... No. I thought we might have just got another explosive book. Did we? I need explosives level 12. I think it's still level, uh, level 11 at the moment. Yeah. We need one more explosive book and we can make some dynamite. To terraform our old base. It's going to be the easiest way to just to go and just blow up the stairs over there. Also, I just realized, because we have nothing in Pack Mule, there's way more that needs to be unlocked, unfortunately. So we have a triple storage pocket there. We have a double here. I want to move it down the line. So the next one over here will have the pocket storage. Pocket storage over there. Yeah, we're going to have to put a point or two into the um, other one as well, the Pack Mule, but for now it's fine. And I'm going to go and drop all of the stuff off at the moment as well, because we are way too encumbered too. So, uh, let's go back to the base. 
Do you have any skill points? So if we get a skill point right now, I should probably first go a little bit into the parkour over here. We want to make sure we don't break our legs. Technically, we need this one so we can jump one block higher and we can fall two blocks more without breaking or spreading our legs. That's agility level four. So we need three points here to put one point here. Deep cuts. Penetrator, lucky skill. Okay, so all of this stuff is cool. Um, but yeah, I need to start investing some more points, man. It gets difficult. I want to invest in this, but I also want to invest in other stuff. Why is this attribute too low? What are you talking about? Is it because I'm encumbered? No, wait, what? Ooh, wrong glasses. That's why. I have to make sure we have the right glasses on when we're lockpicking. Otherwise, that will happen. Okay, good to know. Yeah, we have to go out. We can go out of here. Motorcycle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I want to make sure not to get stuck inside a hole. It's so easy. It looks like a road. That Ooh, there's a drop of here. It looks like a road we can take, but the moment we go down that road, all of a sudden there's a wall. We have to pick up the vehicle just to continue. Ooh, framey rates, frame... Bad, bad, bad frame rate right now. Okay, I despise when this happens in the game. There was one game where this happened all the time. At least in A21, we swim faster. Look at this. I'm actually moving faster right now. But I absolutely hate it when treasures are in the water like this. Sometimes it's so far out. I think it was in Wild West mod. I was so close to the one lake that every time there was an airdrop, or every time I did a treasure, it was literally like... 200 meters or so away. It was so annoying having to swim for them every single time. The moment I moved away, it was a lot easier for me to get around. And I just have to go back to the train and hand this in. But I think I'm going to put an episode here. If you guys like this episode, please like it with your friends. Comment, tips, and feedback. Leave it down below. And if you guys are new to this channel, please hit the subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time for some more NZ fun. Once again, a huge thank you to all my members and patrons for your support. To join them in supporting the channel, please click the join button or check out the links in the description down below.